call upon and invite all divine beings, past, present, and future, to join and witness our production tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, the one thing that I hope that you discover tonight is that that includes each and every one of you. Good evening. Welcome to the fifth anniversary of the Greensboro Fringe Festival. You people look wonderful. Thank you so much for coming. It's great to have you. Um, I am Audrey Simpson, the playwright and director. What that means is if you really like this play, I'm responsible. If you don't like it, it's the fault of my collaborators who coerced me into it. My collaborators are Scott Frey, who has done most of the sets that you see, the body painting, um, the music, Joe Wobel, who did the lyrics, um, Madeline Greco, who plays uh, Titania in the play, um, also helped with the body painting and the costumes. The play is experimental. Part of the thing that makes it experimental is I have one last role to cast, and that role is each and every one of you, individually and collectively. The play that we are going to be presenting tonight is a dream of Gaia, Mother Earth, this precious planet that we are so fortunate to live on. It's her dream. And as her children, it is all of our dreams. Relax. Allow yourself to enter into the dream state as the Greensboro Fringe Festival proudly presents Opening the Eye of Light.
is in the element of water. in time. Humans forgot their beginning. Gaia suffered. And the soul longed for a new beginning. Wake up! Gaia, wake up! You're having another nightmare! Where am I? I can't, I can't breathe! No air! Where am I? Where am I? You are with me, here and now. Oh, oh. I 
dreamed of the beginning. It is to be expected now the end is so close. How do you know the end is near? What else is left? Dreams of a new beginning. We've no time for that. No time for dreams, Cronus? Are we really running out of time? I don't know. What time is it? Oh. <laughs> it must be late. Too late. How late? Too late already. The end of time as we know it? What goes around comes around. <laughs> like time. <laughs> like seasons. The age of Aquarius begins. Returns, Gaia. Returns. Returns? Uranus rules again. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? <laughs> There's always shit when anybody rules. Yes, that's the way of the world. Shit in the rivers, shit in the air, shit dumped into landfills miles high. Whole cities, whole countries, a whole world built on shit. Not the way of the world, Gaia. The way of the children of the world. Water of my womb, dust of my dust, bone of my bone, and heart of my heart. My children lost forever in a winter of discontent. I can't deal with their shit anymore. You shouldn't. Why do they need so much of it? So much what? So much shit. Why do they need so much of it? It's a sign of wealth. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. No. I don't have time to kid around. Wealth. I'll give you wealth. A wealth of poisonous oceans, polluted rivers, Acid rain, smoggy skies, burning rainforests, unbreathable air. Well, isn't that too damn rich? What are you doing? I'm shaking off these layers. It's hot out here. It's global warming. <laughs> of course it's global warming. I'm Gaia. I'm hot. That's global warming for you. <laughs> Get your hands off of me. You have a fever. A fever? How bad is it? You're dying. That can't be good. <laughs> Time is running out. Can I get a second opinion? There's no assurance. No. Nobody can afford insurance anymore. Only the rich, and they're the ones we need to be insured from. The politicians, the lawyers, the doctors. What did you say I have? Global warming. I think it's just hot flashes. <laughs> At your age, I fear you're becoming delusional. Oh, well, where are the world leaders? Call them. Tell them about my global warming. They will save me. Now I know you're delusional. <laughs> That's the thing to do, isn't it? To cut away the old, the outdated, the cancer, the tumor, the malignant growth, the thing whose time has passed. Best do it quickly, painlessly. Painlessly? Can't be done. Why is that? It's hard letting go of what we know, the material things we hold on to. Do it anyway. I will suffer it pain at all. I can't. Why? It's in you, on you, all around you. Where would I begin? When would I stop? Oh. 
I'm lost then. Maybe it will change. Change? Change. Excuse me, sir. Can you spare some change? Hey! Hey! Don't ignore me on your mother, for God's sake! Ungrateful child. T did you see that? He, he just ignored me. Looked right through me like I wasn't even there. They don't even see me anymore. They don't think you live. They treat me like dirt. You are dirt, young man. You are dirt. Oh, well, what's wrong with dirt? We're all made from dirt. Your precious sands of time, Cronus, they're just dirt. All their bodies, they're dirt. They come from me. Surely they're thankful for their bodies. They are ashamed of their bodies. Hate them even. They starve them, burn them, cut them, curse the fact that they exist. Some even pray for death to come and take them away. The gift of life is a curse. Life? A curse? Death, the prize. How, How did we get to this? We stumbled into it blindly. Led by blind faith. Blind faith in religion. Blind faith in science. Don't ask questions. Don't look. They don't want to see what they have done to their planet, to their souls. They don't see you as a living being anymore. You're just an insignificant small blue dot on the edge of the vast universe. You're just an object, something to have dominion over. A resource to exploit, an oil vein to tap, a mountain to mine, a forest to cut, something to burn, to harvest, a battlefield for Armageddon. I am their mother. Where will they live without me? In heaven. Oh, heaven. Heaven loves me. Heaven surrounds me. <laughs> they plan to transcend this world to go beyond your veils, to a place out there, a place beyond time. Out there, beyond heaven. Beyond heaven is space. There's no oxygen there. How will they breathe? They're not that rational. <laughs> when did my children go so blind? When they started seeking for the divine outside themselves. Well, to heaven with the men. I'm done with all of it. What are you doing? I'm depressed. I'm going back to sleep. Maybe we should get you an antidepressant. <laughs> antidepressant hell. Everybody's depressed. Gives them a chance to slow down. To sleep. To dream. To stop collecting shit! <laughs> All this shit, I can't stand it anymore. Look where we live. All I want to do is sleep and rest and dream. I just get rest. Sweet guy. Oh. You are so right. It's time to give our minds a rest. Mm. Time to dream of a new beginning. Yes. <coughs> Time to dream. Mm -hmm. Yes. Earth dreams of a new beginning. Such dreams do not go unheeded. Dreams awaken the soul. An awakened soul longs for change. All tales of love start with longing. Longing for change? The human soul birthed itself in the form of a mortal woman named Psyche. Psyche's beauty could only be matched by the purity of her soul. Filled with a longing for the divine, 
Psyche sought it everywhere. Ever elusive, it evaded her. Her suffering made her long. Her suffering turned to understanding. Understanding to compassion. Everywhere she walked, life flourished. Plants bloomed at her touch, and animals trusted her in complete love. Enamored by her kindness and compassion, people began to believe her to be the embodied soul of all humanity. A new religion of lover and beloved sprouted. A religion with a motherly acceptance and passion. In his village, the keeper of the sacred tradition grew afraid. What would happen if people saw the human soul, the soul of all humanity, both men and women, as feminine? So playing upon their greatest fears, he decreed a prophecy. Darkness is the promise of this new age and souls will be misled by a feminine sage. In the serpent's sexuality, her lust is coiled, and all hopes for the soul's ascension shall be foiled. Darkness, femininity, serpent, sex, and loss of ascension? So, where did they lock her away? In the dark underworld crypt of the cathedral of sacred tradition. Oh, foolish man. Doesn't he know that nothing can hold back love? <laughs> no. Nor does he know that love blooms in the darkness of night. News of Psyche's transformation reached the edge of the world in a forest where the veils between lands were as thin and fragile as dragonfly wings. In a place where the tales of her magical feats circulated until they reached deep into the underworld, the Mount of Venus, the court of the fairies, and kissed the ear of their titillating queen, Titania.
our fairy queen, Titania. I hear whispers of a mere mortal woman being worshipped as if she were divine. Yes. I've heard tales of the mortal woman's psyche, too. People say she embodies a different kind of love. The love of the soul for the divine. What could be more divine than the erotic pleasures of the body, Eros? You of all spirits should know that. Well, perhaps her kind of love is something new. Are you smitten? Oh, I am intrigued. Here, let us toy with this new kind of love. Go give her a prick with your love arrow, and we'll see how different this new kind of love truly is. Yes, yeah, see if she'll give it up to temptation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but not just any temptation. Make her fall for a lecherous, groping con man. A man gross of body and vile of soul. A man with a huge endowment, but no money. <laughs> <laughs> a man who secretly despises women. One who will lie to her, treat her like dirt, abuse her body and break her spirit. Together, we'll expose her all to human attributes. Then we'll see just how divine she feels. You plan to corrupt that which is most pure with debauchery? <laughs> how sinfully decadent. <laughs> Your wish is my pleasure, my queen. Or is it? Your pleasure is my wish. <laughs> Under the cover of night's dark wings, Eros set out to destroy Psyche's new longing. Is this lonely too to be my sanctuary? If so, I shall place a lantern on the altar to light my love's way, and offer a prayer that it will not be my fate to die alone in this tomb. In love, something always dies, so something other may be born. You speak as one who knows. Who are you? I am love that ever changes. Help me light my lantern so that I will see you. Love means learning to see by a different light. With those words, Psyche surrendered to the darkness. And Eros wooed her under the cover of night. Filled with ecstasy. Psyche called forth her desire. transformed Psyche's lonely tomb into a magical palace. Attending to her every whim became his only desire. Invisible, Invisible servants waited upon her.
sacredness. Then, on a magic evening, arrows flew into the chamber, and the moment both longed for came true. For on that night, Psyche would confess the truth of her heart to Eros. Since you came into my life, the world's a magical place. What once seemed a lonely tomb has now become the temple of my soul's love. What we think, what we dream, what we love, we become. You are what I have been seeking for my whole life. Our love will last forever. Forever? Don't let your head lead. Be lost in the spark, the breeze and the foam. I carry the love of the butterfly, a love that is fragile and is shy. And yet, before the time has come to fade and die, my soul takes to the air and starts to fly, to fly, to Hides me from your eyes. Growing in the dark, it begins to rise. Reaching like a tree into the Crash. 
precious moment I love the momentary to awaken the world. A kiss to awaken the divine spirit. It was a kiss that said, I am breathing you. I'm being carried in your breath. You are expanding and contracting within my lungs. People often claim they feel the earth move when they kiss. This is the first actual recording of the event. <laughs> it was a kiss to awaken the soul to the divine. A kiss to awaken the world. No, a kiss to awaken humanity. Now, go back to sleep, stop talking. You woke me up. Well, come on, Cronus. You've got to keep up with the times. Now let's go to sleep. Bring on the dream. <laughs> with a mortal. A mortal? Does she love you? With all her soul. Does she know what you are? No, not yet. She's <laughs> mortal. You are not. Yes, and that's what I love about her. She's become my eyes, my ears, my body. Through her I see the world and everything in it, as if for the first time. The eternal god of love in love with a mere mortal? It can't be. Oh, but it is, Titania. It is. And what of all your erotic adventures, Eros? What of all those willing, succulent bodies laying in wait, waiting for you to lay them? <laughs> I'm in love, Titania. Nothing can tempt me. Eros, you become like a human, a fool for love. But with your own magic, I shall seduce you back into the realm of sexual pleasures. Fairy elemental, <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the temptation of Eros. Let's show him what we've got.
thing. Just, just Still gazing at the stars. Still can't sleep, huh? Oh, too many dreams. The dawning of this new age does seem to be a time for dreaming. Everything comes from the stars. And when our time ends, to the stars we will return. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I heard a mother tell her child that when she and her father were children in lands far apart from each other, they both went out to the night sky and wished upon the very same star. And in that instant, in the twinkling of the star in their eyes, the soul of the child was born. For both of them wished to one day have a child of their own to love and care for. How beautiful. The child was dying. And when they laid her to rest in me, I wanted her mother to know that I would cradle her in my arms. A life cut short is still precious. A moment here is worth an eternity anywhere else. Do you remember when you were worshipped as a god? It was a long time ago. But yes, I do. Gods and goddesses die too. Gods dying, that's history. But gods living, that's mystery. Gods and goddesses, our children, plants, animals, minerals, everything returns to the stars. Sometimes you seem so young and fragile, and at other times so old and wise. <laughs> well, I'm more ancient than dirt, <laughs> and big and round, and that makes me Old, fat, and ugly by today's standards. <laughs> I think you're beautiful. And I think today is only today. And I think, Cronus, that you're out of step with the times. I am time, Gaia, lest you forget. Oh, and nothing exists outside of you. And all the best exists in you. Well, we may be dust. But we're stardust. <laughs> then rest in my arms, my stardust lover, and dream on, Gaia. Dream on. Mm. Psyche, purest soul, I've come to bring you solace and listen to your confession. <laughs> I have nothing to confess, sister, but I welcome your company. Are you sure? I smell the lingering stench of magic here. Something evil this way came. I am in fear for your immortal soul, my dear. My beloved has come to me here, sister. And what is the name of your love? What does he look like? Why do you hesitate? Do you not know? Answer quickly for fear of your mortal soul. He answers only to the name of love. He comes to me in the dark of night. And I must confess, I've never seen his face. You haven't? How can you love him if you haven't seen him? He tells me it's more important to look within. S spoken like a serpent. Dark, seductive, beguiling words, but little light of truth. A serpent? With you locked in his coils, 
He hides from you because he's not human. He's a monster waiting to devour your soul. No, it doesn't feel evil. I don't, I can't believe a word you're saying. No, don't trust me. Trust no one. But do find out. Tonight when he lies sleeping in your bed, light your lamp so that you may see for yourself. And betray my trust? If he were truly trustworthy, he wouldn't have anything to hide. Do as you will, child, but receive my blessing and think about it. And remember, truth never fears the light. <laughs> and doubts. Times of change are always troubling. Soul of my heart, in time you will see. Trust in our love. For even now, growing in you is the child of a new age, an enlightened child that will know it is divine. It is the child that exists within all living things. This child will lead the way in opening the eye of light. Come. Rest in my arms, and let us dream of this coming new age. What chance has love in the face of fear and doubt? Throughout time, fear and doubt have been the poisons that spoil the well of life. They are what must be confronted to begin anew. If love cannot overcome fear and doubt, what chance is there for change? Love, can you hear me? Forgive me, love, but I must see you. <clears throat> At once, the secret was revealed. There lay the sweetest and gentlest creatures of all. Divine love itself. At the sight of Eros, the flame danced joyfully up. The flame filled with longing to touch the beautiful body of the god of love, thus spurting a drop of scalding oil onto his exposed flesh. <clears throat> Forgive me, love. I'm, I'm sorry. You love your fears and doubts more than me. I have no choice but to go. Oh, deceit and 
It's just another nightmare. A bad dream. No! The soul of humanity has lost her way. She seeks outside herself. Psyche is our child. She will find her way. Give her time. It's got to happen here and now. Look at me, Cronus. I'm dying at the hands of our children. I'm dying. We must not stop believing, Gaia. We can't. There's no time left. They don't see me. They don't care. Oh, all is lost. <laughs> Once it was gods that ran the show. Brought the rain, the dream, the glow, <clears throat> but mystery of mysteries, oh, a mortal is making me grow, a mortal is making me know. She has forsaken me, driven us, taken me, I feel her unmaking me now. And being a god's not enough. How she has shaken me, burned all that's taken me. Where has she taken me now? And being a god's not enough. I feel her awaken me, feel her soul ache in me. I feel her heart break in me now. And being a god's not enough. No, being a god's not enough. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Have you found him? Have you found Eros? No, no Your Majesty. We have searched the heavenly atmosphere. The depths of the seas, all, all across, across the, the land. lands. And in Earth's fiery underworld realm. He's nowhere to be found. And what is the fate of the world? Without love, pleasure, grace, and wit have, have disappeared from the Earth. Everything has become ugly. Dull. Slovenly. And monotonous. No one cares about their spouses. Their children. Their neighbors. No one can, can be bothered. bothered. Everything is in such disorder that it is now considered inappropriate for, for anyone, anyone to, to even show natural, natural affection. How could I not have foreseen all this? Because the way of love is a mystery. You. How did you escape your captors? Through lies? Deceit? Denial of your love? My adversaries thought my passions lost. Without Eros, they see me as weak and harmless and let me wander away. And you dared come here? I need your help to bring him back. Maybe you can show me the way through, sister. <laughs> Are you willing to assume responsibility for driving your love away? Yes. All this time I have been lost, wondering and mourning my loss. That dark time has changed me. I am ready and willing to do whatever it takes to have him again. Are you willing to sacrifice yourself in the service of love? Love is the only sacrifice. I am ready to dare to love again, no matter the temptation, the betrayal, the loss, the cost, or the challenge. 
It is easier said than done. Yes, and I know I will fall and have to get up and try again. But it is a beginning. You really love him with all my soul. Are you willing to suffer the pains of birthing a new life? Don't you see? The pains of letting go are the birthing pains of the new. So be it. So be it! Fairy elementals, wrap her in a cocoon of her own doubts and fears. Taboo becomes sacred. Kronos! Kronos! My dream of a new beginning! It's true! It's true! <laughs> what was once a curse opens up as blessing. My dream of a new beginning. Poisonous thoughts emerge pure. It's true! It's true! <laughs> Bitter poison flows like sweet, healing nectar. It's all true. It is the time for the shedding of old skins. What a glorious time to be alive. The best time ever. It is the time for humanity to join with the divine. The time for us to emerge as co-creators and caregivers of Mother Earth, a time of healing, a time of change, the eon of a new beginning, when together, as equals, we can look into the future and see as never before, with the opening of the eye of light.